Last time we left off with unlocking the last region, we did a quick Corrupted Gauntlet kill and Zolra, and then I wanted to sit down and get some AFK combat up, so we worked on strength. I think I started with like 30, and a couple hours later, I am 75 strength, which is a, a decent level to stop with. And there are definitely benefits. I got a lot of easy clues from these guys. I think like 20. And that's going to be big for today's episode. Because the goal is going to be unlocking tier 7. We need 3,800 points. And clues are very good at doing just that. For now though, I'm going to be returning my old friend, Soliaseps. And of course, I'm still missing the Soliasep cap. We're going a little dry on this thing. But maybe with my new trusty Dragon X, we'll get it today. Oh, wow. Literally five minutes, I got the cap. How hard was that game? Hello again, it's been a few hours. I am up to 86 woodcutting. This has been wonderful, a nice break from all the grinding. Now during all this, I accidentally opened up a medium clue, so I thought I would finish it. I filled a stash, and we have the clue. So let's open it, and three uniques, nice. Oh, and that's also another task, because I can eat the purple sweets. Go through all of these clues, open up all the caskets, and probably get the next relic tier from it. 119 beginner clues. I have all of the emote clue items worn. I can immediately do the emote clue steps. It's gonna be so fast. They're all going to be one step, and because I have so many, I think it's more efficient for me just to drop Charlie the Tramp steps. They'll take too long. And on the second clue, the first drop. Goodbye. If only I had Trickster. Think of the agility levels. I messed up, I did one extra beginner. Well, anyway, stack of 51, and we still have 58. This stack of like 100, whatever we started with, is easily going to be enough to finish the log. Uh, we're going to open the clues over here. So uh, I'm expecting a lot of uniques. I'm expecting the pop-up to be very delayed. Cover the screen. So we're look at the pop-ups and the chat box. The clue itself, I'm not even going to be able to read. We are starting with 3,500 points until the next relic. All right, here we go. First one. Nice. Ornament kit. Another ornament kit. <laughs> Another ornament kit. That's a duplicate, though. Mole slippers! Yo! The best boots in the game. Ooh, double unique. Not only can you, like, get an extra casket, uh, it can roll up to a higher tier. I just got an easy clue there. Ten unique items from beginner clues. Medium task. Parrot haver. Dude, there, there's actually a chance we finish in these 50. That would be very lucky, though. Sandwich lady hat. That's the last of the monk robes. Three more uniques to go. Sandwich lady bottom. Bare feet. 35 unique items for beginner clues. Nah, I didn't get it. Damn it. So now that we're only missing one unique, I'm just going to open the beginners when I get them. And we'll get it eventually. Yes, it's done. Dude, I was getting a little worried. We had to do like another 20, I think. Frog slippers. Let's go. I I actually got pretty lucky. Overall, this was very lucky. I think the average is going to be four times drop rate, more rolls. I think it's going to be closer to like 100, 120 beginners to complete the log. We did it in 82. And that was an elite task. So 200 points, I think. So just from doing the beginner grind, we got 450 points. And that was um four, like 50 minutes. <laughs> so worth it. Do your clues, guys. All right, I'm definitely going to have to be changing my inventory th for the easies, but we have 36 to do. Oh, that's going to definitely take longer than the beginners because they're two steps apiece. We got two easies from all those beginners. So it seems like the the chance of a casket like going to the next tier is not very common. Okay, so this is the first step we do have to drop. Uh, I'll, I'll check the wiki just one more time, but... The problem with easies and mediums is that there are a lot of steps that have gnome clothing that you can only get in the gnome stronghold, I'm pretty sure. So, like, the area is your region, but you still need Kandarin. It's one of those things. The last clue I have to drop, which is totally fine. You can see throughout this grind, we had to pick up a lot of different items, but we have it set up. I think I'm only missing, like, one emote clue I can still do, but don't I haven't gotten, I suppose. This took about an hour, I would say, to do all these clues, but a lot of it was setting it up. Going forward, they're going to be a lot quicker. Well, here we go. I'm going to be uh, opening them up here, I guess. This is a cool place to open. First one. Nothing. Great. <laughs> Triple unique. Master clue. That's going to be nice. We're going to be stacking a lot of those. I mean, easies are going to be crazy. Like, the amount of uniques is just 
insane from these clues. Ooh, fire lighter. That's my first one, I believe. That's a lighting a log as a task. Golden apron. Yes. Fashion, bro. Any of the gold items are cool. Let's be real. Oh, we're getting close. So I am looking for trimmed or gilded um, wizard robes. There's a task to do a full set. So we're two out of three on that one. One out of three on the other one. Oh, the skull cape. Yo, on the final clue. And I'm pretty sure I do need a vestment set. I think this is considered vestment, right? So I think that's the only one I got, which is really uh, interesting. But yeah, there you go. That was so many points. Uh, 350. So less than the beginners, but still got a lot completed. On to the mediums. Only 15 to do. They are three steps. So this will still be pretty quick. I feel like we were decently lucky up here in Varrock. So let's try it again. Starting with 2,700 points. First one's a quadruple. Oh my lord. Another triple. Quadruple. Oh my. I'm zooming right now. Oh my god. Ooh. Spike manacles. Okay. Now, now that's my best in slot melee. <laughs> Not a task though. That is a quick 80 point task right there. And they are technically my best in slot range boots. And I am a ranger. Big fucking day. And uh, how many collection logs? 47. We got the exact save from half the clues. Wow. I feel like I got really lucky then. Starting with 10 hard clues. Now these ones, it's probably going to be like a 50-50 that we drop. It's just kind of the nature of hard clues. So if I get five here, I'll be happy. Maybe it's different in my regions now, but I had no clue how I was going to get a fire battle staff. This is a hard clue step in Fremi. So there's maybe a way to get it in like Tyrannon or something, but I got it from a Sarah wizard. Let's go. Oh, and is it an equip task? <gasps> I'm just so good at the game. 40 points. You can steal fire orb from elves. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it's still good. You know, whatever. Yeah. One clue left. Three steps. Last step is something that I can't do because I need a heraldic shield. However, you get them from hard clues. So there's actually a really, really high chance we get it from six. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up the six. Maybe we get a seventh one. Otherwise, next time I do hard clues, we'll be at three steps, which is fine. Um, we have actually opened hard clues before um, when I was going for black dehyde. Five uniques, five clues, which I feel like is not very good. Let's uh, Let's bump that up. Here we go. First one is four uniques. Oh my god. Nice. So this is already... I'm already doing better in these like two clues. Um, significantly better than the first opening. And the final clue. It doesn't look like we're getting a heraldic shield, unfortunately. Yeah, no cigar. Sad. One hard task and then uh, another hard task. Yeah, so not even that much for hard clues. That was a little lackluster. Even though I didn't get that much points from the hard clues, I just realized the um, god coif I just got, uh, Bandos coif, is slightly better than the Archer Helm. I can retire this. Just a little unfortunate, though, because the Archer Helm looks so much better. Oh, it's ugly. After all those clues, I actually need to chill for a bit. So I've been thinking about what to do, and there is something coming up that I need to get done, which is get the Brine Saber from Brine Rats here. They're not super AFK, but they'll be chill. Uh, and it reminded me, we we should just go finish Olaf quest. My agility level is so much higher than it was before. Quest done. I wanted to do it originally for that defense 6p, 144k. Still get a couple levels though. Oh, I'm so close to 66. Oh, I'm just going to grab that, bro. <laughs> oh, man. 66 defense. Now, the Brian Saber, I believe, is 1 in 128. So we're not going to be here very long anyway. But surprisingly, getting this is actually really important for me. Finally, dude, I thought this was going to be like... Two minutes, but <laughs> it took me 200. The big reason I wanted this thing is for lobstrosities. Anyway, the lobstrosities can really only be damaged by a few weapons. And the only one I have access to is the Brine Saber. And it's like rune tier, so it's actually not even bad. They are really weak. You could just punch them instead. But this is already a task to get this sword, so I thought double whammy, right? It'll just be a little bit easier. I am looking for the Toad Legs drop. It's actually the only way in my regions to get the Agility Potion without using the uh, Jekyll and Hyde random, which I just don't want to do. And if you've ever played Iron Man, you know where I'm going with this. I need to go and do Taibo when I trio. That was like two minutes. Way better than the Bride Saber guide. Definitely a lot shorter with all the relics. Not bad at all. 60,000 attack and strength. 
That's a level there. 60,000 cooking. And the last one is for the fishing XP. 73. And I unlock Karambwans. The whole point of this adventure is so I could fish Karambwans. There's only like two tasks for it. Not a big deal. And I'm not really here to collect them. I'm just here for the fishing XP. You gotta think. I don't have Kandarin. So I don't have barb fishing. This is realistically going to be one of my faster ways of doing fishing in a nice AFK way. And from what I remember in the main game, they are some of the best skilling clues in the game. So it's really going to be good with the Treasure Seeker Relic. I'm going to be farming clues. Cook 20 Karambons in a row. That actually is harder than it sounds because you need a bit higher cooking for that. So we got up to 76. Not too shabby. Oh, I knew this was coming. I need to go to the DK's area. So you need a Rune Throne Axe. It's kind of hard to get. I believe, like, the easiest way for me to get this is to kill Brutal Dragons in Zaya. One in 64. This kill right here is officially halfway to the drop rate one of these days. However, I did get the Scaly Blue Dragon Hide, which is great. That means I can make anti-fire potions, and that allows me to kill these guys without taking any damage. Speed it up a lot, because I am eating constantly. <laughs> Ten Rune Throne Axes. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just having a night. Not super dry for this. It took me 79. But I already went dry on the Brian Saber tonight. I just want to move on with my plans, dude. Destroy door support. That's a task. Oh, perform a special attack. I haven't done that yet. Okay. <laughs> and that allowed me to do a medium task for Fremenic. Okay, I'm about to get a string of tasks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good. I had to go to the elf land, so I thought I may as well do a bunch of the easy shit. This is like the most remote monster of all time. Bro, he's all the way over here. And that was two medium tasks. Ten combat achievements and kill a black dragon in Tyrannon. I got another one of the elite clue steps, so I'm gonna try to kill one of each of the DKs. And it's so funny that because of the relics, you can just rip through these guys' defense. Like, you're not supposed to range this guy. And my gear's only gonna get better, so DKs are gonna be really easy tasks in the future. Like, this feels faster than if I maged him normally. <laughs> Hard task for the League, elite task in the Fremi area. Big. It also didn't occur to me, I should probably store this Crystal of Memories because that's really far away. So what you can do is just bank it, and then when I get that step again, I can go right back, and I won't, like, overwrite it while teleporting around. What a grind. Stacked up eight elite clues. Okay, the Mimic is turned on. First one... Okay, I was hoping that was going to be an Ioworth teleport. I'm really hoping for those. Or Lumberyard tallies. Any of those. Ooh, a double! Bronze Dragon Mask. Taiba when I teleport. That's actually not bad. That's usable. Ooh! Love to see that. I really want to see this effect happen as much as possible when doing Elites. For sure, because they take so long to do. Another Master. More Morton tallies. Come on, I don't have Mori. Another double! And the final clue. Let's go. That last one was just enough to finish up the 10 Elite Clue collection log slots. I was really hoping to get that. That was that was the goal. I was really hoping I would snag that. So, Oh, I actually have 11 out of 59. So how many points did we end up getting from that? 320. Wow. Was that worth the time? I'm not sure, but that was fun. From all those brutal black dragons, I made sure to get all the dehyde ready so we can get a couple tasks here. Black fan braces. I could have done this a long time ago, really. Wear a full set of black dragon hide, full red dehyde. And then there's a task to craft 30 blue dragon hide bodies, which I collected more than enough for that from all those kills. Not too bad that I went try then, right? And we're done because there are two tasks that are just comical that I forgot to do. I've had the dragon axe, use the special attack. That's it. <laughs> Never occurred to me. And the final one, by virtue of having Fire Sail, is absolutely free. The Crystal Crown. Boom. 400 points. My very first Master Task, I believe. Normally, that would be insanely hard to do. 250 mil cash. But this Relic completely trivializes it. So this tier, I've been pretty much decided since the start. We're taking Soul Stealer. Your minimum hits are increased by 10% of your max hit, so... That is actually really good. And then it's essentially soul split. So I'm just going to be healing around 5% HP and prayer. A great example is that like Corrupted Gauntlet, right? Hunleth has 1000 HP. 
So over the course of a Hunlift kill, I will be healing back around 50 HP and 50 prayer. Everywhere in RuneScape, less eating is more damage. So it's going to be fun, it'll make the game easy, and I'm going to be a lot more powerful. So next time, we return to the Corrupted Gauntlet.